Hello friends, it's Lisa. Welcome to my messy, messy desk. So this is a follow-up video to the Globaloo Land um, unbagging that I did a few weeks ago. And these are just a few of the things that I showed you that I stamped out. And after I stamped everything out, I made these really cool tags and journal cards. I use scrap material. Actually, I use cereal boxes, old book pages, and I just cut out the stamped things that I showed you and glued them onto these cards. So what I'm going to share with you today is how to make these little cards. These little cards were actually a box insert to this product that I had. And I just cut out the insert. And what I did was I fabric stamped some of the stamps that I received onto strips of fabric because fabric stamping is a lot of fun. And this fabric that I used, and I have a whole bunch of it, is an old bed sheet that I cut into strips and just ripped it so I would have a really nice cool edge. And then I coffee dyed it. So for this particular video, I'm just going to cut out some strips. I mean, I have the strips already, excuse me. I'm going to show you how easy it is to um, stamp on these strips. And then you can do anything you want with the stamped image. So let me get in a little bit closer for you. <clears throat> And let me see what I did on here. I'm using Versify. I love Vers Versify. This is Onyx Black. It is waterproof, so after you stamp, you can also color on it, and you could do all sorts of things without the inks running. So I'm just going to stamp up the stamp. And these are out of the what I unboxed these are my favorite stamps from the set and it makes a really nice image of you know, very little effort so I'm a little off centered on that one but it doesn't matter I'll rip this side off <clears throat> and I'm still gonna use it let's try another one uh, let's do a lot of these I don't have a lot of this one. I like this one a lot. Let's go ahead and stamp it up. I'll leave a little spacing so I can have a nice border. Beautiful. And then there were these other ones Another set of stamps that I showed you, these little vases with um, the nice florals. This is a little bit trickier to get the floral inside the vase. If anybody knows of a really good way to do it without, um, to make it look like the stem is coming out of the vase. I'm having a little problems lining some of it up, but I guess practice makes perfect <laughs> and that's what I've been doing I've just been eyeballing it and this is a nice quality stamp too I do like how it comes out so I'm just gonna eyeball it where I think it's gonna come out and hold my breath <laughs> and let's see so that one actually came out pretty good so that is it. To stamp on fabric is really easy. And then what I've been doing is I've just been cutting the material. Let me zoom back out a little bit. Oops, that's zooming in. I'm still um, just slightly cut it and then I rip it. Still not in my home yet, so I don't have a studio set up. I'm literally working at this really, 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 really teeny tiny desk. And I have a tripod right in front of me, right in front of my face, really. <laughs> 
so it's kind of hard to work and make videos but when I get into my new house I'm gonna have a permanent setup so I can pop on and make videos whenever I want to without having to set everything up for each and every shoot because it is labor intensive to do that all the time so I'm just fraying the edges a little bit here making it nice and funky looking let me see the camera situation I'm gonna go ahead and do this tag what I've been doing which is really fun is stamping on tissue paper who would have thunk right tissue paper is a lot of fun to stamp on I'm just gonna choose one of those random stamps and find my very dirty oops very dirty stamp block and let's just do a random pattern on here I want to get some of these blocks and some of this random writing I'm going to stamp right on the tissue paper and then I'm going to glue that tissue paper right on this little homemade tag that I have that should do the trick isn't that pretty I like the look of it it's nice and distressed looking just using some regular craft glue here. Just put the glue down. The ideal way to do this is with a little water. But I'm just grabbing the glue that I have at my desk, spreading it around. It's just regular white jot glue, wherever I found it in my mother's drawer, actually. Wherever she got it from. And I'm just going to go like that. I think the inks are dry. I'm just going to wait a few seconds because I really don't want to, yeah, don't want to really smudge any ink. And it's just the appearance is just really easy, very nice, very simple. I'm going to take the stamped image, go like that. I have been playing around with this little blue stick. Literally, it's just pop a little color on there, rub it in with my finger just to get some contrast going. Put some glue on here. Pop it on. And you got yourself a really pretty tag. And I just really just rip, 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 rip the paper off. I'll go back and you know, fussy a little bit around there. You got a real the start of a really pretty tag. I'll probably mess around with it a little bit more, but it's so I find it really satisfying to stamp on the fabric and then make little tags, bookmarks. This one I just took the fabric and I made a little tag on top. Very simple, artsy, fun. So I suggest you try it. Just get some old bed sheets. And really, it's just as easy as applying the ink. I always suggest using a really good ink. And then we'll do one more stamp. This one's probably going to maybe be off center we'll see yeah probably use next time a little bit thicker strips for these stamps 
but it, it really is a satisfying play and um, I don't know something I enjoy doing especially when the weather is miserable out and you're stuck inside now I shouldn't be complaining too much because I'm in Florida <laughs> it's not like I have to deal with a lot of snow actually zero snow but it has been very wet and raining these past few days so it's always fun to uh, do some crafting anyway I hope you got something out of this video um, these are Globeland products I do have 10% off code that I will put in the description box and on the screen I believe it is Jane 10 it's either Jane 10 or Lisa 10 I'll double check it and I will leave the link down below if you're looking for any kind of discount I don't even know if the discount is as good as something that you can get on their website but it's what I do have to share with you guys all right guys if you found this video in any way shape or form entertaining please give me a like that really helps my analytics and a subscribe is always very much appreciated and I will see you all in the next video bye y'all